there is a greater value in collaboration and finding a way in which uh, the consent-based framework, which is like a part of uh, DEPA guidelines, or what is the value for data generator, data contributor, or how you can create some of these uh, data nodes through which models can go learn, build, say a credit and risk model. So obviously the first type of data is the so-called public data. The second type of data is non-personal data. A very good example of that is geospatial data. India has been focusing on geospatial data in a very, very big way. And the third type of data is it is got privacy restrictions in it. So in December of 2022, we started working on geospatial data uh, that has come to age. Uh, so if I have any kind of geospatial data, I just need to go and register into one catalog and then anybody can discover it. The data still stays with me. So I have not pooled my data anywhere. So it's called federated data sharing. And uh, but the APIs are all standardized. And then that is also true for privacy sensitive data. So essentially what you're going to get is a lot of type one and type two data collectives. Type one data collectives about there are lots of them in the world. And what India has done is to standardize. And that is a leap forward. Yeah.